Greetings, Saints. No one love ears to hear. I'm going to get straight to the point. We are nothing without the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I know it sounds obvious, but when I was just watching videos and learning what the Lord is going to do in the end times and how he's going to level up the saints, how he's going to upgrade us, I realized we are we are nothing without the Lord. Even in the days, I thought about the days when I was in bondage. The days where I thought I had wisdom, but I really had no wisdom at all. It's scary times. It was scary and dark times. Not knowing how lost you was when you didn't know the Lord. How unbonished you was when you didn't know the Lord. And now you experience the power of God. You have wisdom that comes from God. Everything is black. I mean, it's like light and darkness. And it's. I just had a revelation that we, we are really nothing without God. Even the strength we have, anything we have, like any special talents or gift. We need to glorify the Lord. We need to magnify the Lord. Because just as easy as God give it to us, God can also take it away. Even the talents we do have, it is so small compared to the power of God. Like Jesus, Jesus has so much power that we can't even comprehend. Think about how much power it is just to die for the sins of mankind like that alone should put the fear of god in people i mean it's amazing that god did it but you got to think about just the amount of power <laughs> god has just to do that and and you think about how big the universe is how big the universe is and god holds all this stuff together but no problem. Like all these new, all the new world orders forming, all these evil societies, like they're doing all this stuff. These people are working day and night to try to take over the world. And God's just laughing at them. It even says in the book of Psalms how, how the evil try to like, try to like plan against the, against the righteous. And God's just laughing at them because he knows their day is coming. So all, all this stuff the kingdom of darkness is doing, all this planning, all this planning, working day and night, all this seek, all this secret stuff they're trying to hide, and God is just laughing at them, man. Like it, like it, it doesn't, like God is not worried about any other stuff going on. God just wants His people to have faith in Him. Like the Lord just wants His people to have faith in Him, and to do His will. I would just heal the revelation, man. The the amount of power God has, like it's like, I mean, yeah, you know it, but when you, when it just clicks to you, it's, it's just like, man, wow. And a lot of people they're mesmerized about this stuff, you know. A lot of people they're just worried about the new world order and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah, we should know what's going on, but we should not be stressed out about this stuff like we should not be stressed out being worried worried about this because god literally has everything under control and none of this stuff is going to happen unless god approves it anyways like no one is doing anything just like from their own you know like god has to literally give them the approval like, hey you can go through with this like nothing's going to happen unless god allows it to happen and and that's the truth. The only thing we need to worry about is relying on the Lord, giving God the glory. Because Jesus deserves the glory. Je Jesus deserves all the glory. He deserves the glory. Because we are we are literally nothing without Jesus. We are literally we are nothing without God. All the strength, all the talents, all the abilities, all the powers, 
all the wisdom, all the knowledge, all of it comes from God. And God will give it to you because he loves you. But if you think you're going to boast about yourself and not get God the glory, God can just take it away so easily. And you'll be vanity. Like your whole life will be vain. Because that's what that's what we are without God. We're just vain. All purpose comes from God. All purpose really does come from Jesus. God gives you a purpose with your life. Without God, you have no purpose in life. You're really doing nothing with your life. You're really just wasting life. And it's really scary to think about. A lot of people, they don't even know. That's a, that's a thing too. Like Without God, you don't even know that your life is vain. <laughs> like You don't even know your life is vain if you don't have the wisdom of God to understand that your life is vain without him. Because I didn't know. I didn't know my life was vain when I didn't know God. Because I thought you just make your own purpose in life and strive for your own purpose. And that's how you just have a good life, you know. You, you chase chase your dreams. They say you chase your dreams. But look, if your dreams are not aligned to God's will on your assignment, bro, you're not chasing anything. <laughs> you're not doing anything at all. You're literally wasting time. If it's not in God's will, whatever you're doing, you are literally wasting time. And you're wasting your life chasing the wind. Because when you die, you want to stand before God and give an account for what you did. You have to give an account for what you did. And chasing chasing your dreams that are not in the will of God is not going to end well. Like, it's not going to have a good result in the end. So, God is everything. Stay blessed.